With this memory board data, another phase of my memory restoration is complete. You can now craft an air tank. board is nearby. You are likely to encounter wanderers. Proceed with caution.
acquired from memory board. I will analyze it. Return to base camp. Synchronize your iDroid with me here. Partial memory restoration complete. I've also reassembled fragmented data. With this data recovery, you can now use the Skill Trainer. By using the power of Kuban energy to strengthen your body, you can learn special abilities called skills. They're all beneficial to you, so try to learn as many as you can. I detect a memory board within the dust. Begin your search.
You've prepared an air tank. You can now enter the dust. Having crafted an air tank, you can now operate within the dust. However, the tank is only so big. If the oxygen in it runs out, your life will begin to drop. If you're low on oxygen, you can use Kuban energy to replenish it. You can take advantage of this feature from your iDroid.
Synchronize your iDroid with me here. <laughs> Captain, there is one item to report. Regarding the latest recovery... Hang on a minute, you mind? There's something I've been thinking about. The body of that Charon Corps member. The one you got the damaged air tank from. He'd been shot. Needless to say, we haven't seen any wanderers with guns. Meaning, he had to have been killed by a person. Right? What's that all about? That is unclear. All we can say is that if people are killing each other here, that is an illogical thing to do. My point is, these incidents don't make sense. If my theory is correct... Ah, uh, forget it. Sorry for butting in. Continue with what you were gonna say. Getting back to the report, Captain. The data you recovered revealed the location of a wormhole transporter. Wormhole transporters are devices utilizing wormhole technology, which enable instant transportation between two distant points. Two points? So we can use this thing to get home? Unfortunately, the wormhole we can generate with this device is structurally different from the one needed to return home. Therefore, it can only be used for transporting matter within this world. Nevertheless, 
This device should allow us to explore a much greater area than before, while maintaining base camp as our base of operations. Currently, all devices are offline. To use them, you'll need to access them directly and restart their systems. Despite the potential danger, we should bring these devices back online in order to increase our area of operations. Activate the wormhole transporter and expand the area you can search. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open your iDroid to see where this is.
Investigation Day 3. The purpose of this voice log is to serve as a record of my activities here, separate from my official reports to Wardenclyffe Section HQ. I find this place to be much like our own world, except everything is in ruins. It's known as Dite, a name borrowed from a city in Hell that appeared in Dante's The Divine Comedy. Personally, I don't believe in Hell, but if it did exist, I imagine it looked a lot like this. I'm Chloe Dubois, a researcher assigned to Wardenclyffe Section and member of the Caron Corps, which was formed to investigate this world.
into your stamina. You should rest before you're out of gas. <laughs>
With the transporter reactivated, you can now move more quickly and safely. Should you discover other transporters during your searches, I recommend reactivating them as well. The teleportation of matter. Who would have thought this kind of technology exists? But, now that I've seen this, I know I'm right. Right about what? How a group like the Charon Corps, who were this advanced, got wiped out. It wasn't wanderers. It was people. But whether it was some kind of internal conflict or an outside force, I don't know. That is illogical. As we discussed before, in an environment such as Dite's, there can be no advantage to humans working against one another. After all, you and the Captain were technically members of opposing forces, yet here you are, working together. Yeah, well, people don't always do the smart thing. And I make no promises I won't shoot the Captain in the back if I have to. 
Look, you just watch out. If we do come across survivors here, do not let your guard down. Same goes with me.